being in this upcoming election is a woman's right to choose. And, and, and I could say selfishly, because if they come for a woman's right to choose, what is to say that they won't come for me as a gay man for my right to be able to get married, or as a black man for any other rights? So if you take a woman's right away to be able to do with her own body what she and her doctor decide needs to be done, that is problematic for me as a man. Oh, the rest is easy. Right. So the rest is easy. And what and also the you know, in that vein, the Supreme Court matters to me. I would prefer a balanced Supreme Court. I wouldn't want a Supreme Court, quite frankly, that's too liberal. I wouldn't want one that's too conservative. I think we need some balance in the Supreme Court. And the next president is going to get it's really going to decide the balance balance, you know what I mean, of the Supreme Court. So that is what I'm voting on. And I have been asking my subscribers and anyone to tune in, women, talk to your man, talk to your mans, and tell them, you know, because <laughs> you, most, I mean, the stats show I'm not being sexist. Women take care of the household. Yeah. They buy all, all, the, all the products in the house. They decide hey, everything that goes in the house, the kids, whatever, the stocking, all of that. And so talk to your guys and say, look, this is important to me. So I don't want to preach to women, but that's what I, I would like men to, to sit back, put themselves in whoever, whatever woman is in their life, whether it's their mom, their aunt, their sister, or their girlfriend, or their wives, and think about what it would be like to be in their shoes. Okay, that's all I'm saying.